Hello and welcome to the VTS Pog plugin tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to successfully install VTS Pog as well as enable text to speech for your model. When you download VTS Pog, it's going to be in a zip file, so find a good place to put it and then unzip it. Now that you've unzipped it, you can delete the old version and open up the folder. You're going to see VTS Pog inside as well as a bunch of different files. So first, what you're going to do is open up VTube Studio. So you can see I have the chat pet that comes free. You can follow along with this if you want or use your own model. And then we're going to open up the VTS Pog application. Usually you want to right click and open as administrator to avoid any issues. Now you might get some notifications on your internet security. Um, I always click allow. And then in VTube Studio, you're going to see the VTS Pog uh, plugin wanting access to the VTube Studio API. So you're going to click Allow. Now that you've allowed the plugin, you can go ahead to your parameter section. You're going to see param mouth open and param mouth form. Under the param mouth open input, we're going to scroll down and you're going to see all of the parameters you have through plugins. We're going to select Voice Volume 2. And then under param mouth form, we're going to click input again and we're going to scroll all the way down until we see voice frequency 2. So we're going to go ahead and select those. By the way, voice volume plus mouth open and voice volume plus mouth smile will let you uh, speak from the pet as well. And we're going to go back to our plugin. Let's go ahead and play the text again. Pog online poggers. As you can see, it's now working. So let's do a quick overview of the VTS Pog plugin. There's a lot of things in here, so I'm not going to go over everything. Uh, but if we want to just look at what affects TTS, you can see we have our TTS settings here, which we can pick what service to use. So there's Stream Elements, Amazon Poly, TTS Monster. Uh, some of these require uh, third-party purchases like TTS Monster and Amazon Poly, which we have tutorials on how to do that. But if you want to use free stuff, there's Stream Elements, the Windows TTS, there's uh, TikTok TTS, like Animal Crossing TTS. Typically, you would probably want to use Stream Elements first. So the most common voice is the Brian voice, but there's a ton to choose from, different languages, all sorts of stuff. Uh, let's try this. Hit play text. Hi. So if we want a different voice. Hi. You can see you can choose it pretty easily. So if we click chat, this is kind of AI stuff. We'll go over this in a different tutorial. Under moderation, you're going to see a banned words list. Now you can type whatever words you want here and then you can blur them so they don't show up in case you show this program on stream for some reason. You can pick the filter severity. So there's strict, moderate, lax. You, you'd have to kind of test that and see how it works. There's the replacement phrase. So when it detects a, a banned word, it's going to replace it with this. Uh, so mine says filtered. So if we go to chat or uh, settings and we want to test the band word, here's what it's going to sound like. I want to change back to Brian because Kimberly sounds kind of cursed. Filtered. There we go. So you can see that the band word list is working. There are some other things down here. You can do some hotkey stuff. Uh, like let's say you wanted to turn him green in VTube Studio before he says something. You can do all that stuff. You can set that up. It's pretty cool. There's the history tab. So you can see like the redeem history. You can add it to queue if it skipped it for some reason. Hi. So there is a log. You can click that if you want to see your logs. I, I'm not a programming person, so I don't know how to read it. But in case you have trouble and join the support discord, you can work with that. Uh, there's a soundboard. So you can have sounds. Uh, you can select a folder with a bunch of sounds in it and set up some kind of channel point redeem for it if you want. Under connections, we have Twitch, YouTube, uh, YouTube Studio. So we'll have a different tutorial for how to set up Twitch redeems, um, but this is kind of how you do that. And then you have your, your bits, your subscriptions, and you can have all sorts of custom settings in here, like the character limit for bits, character limit for subscriptions. If you want the AI to talk to somebody who resubs or something like that, there's YouTube as well. And you can also, there's the VTube Studio connections here, but if you look down at the bottom, you'll see VTS, which has a green symbol, which is showcasing that we are connected to VTube Studio. If this is red, that means that you're not connected. Uh, there's a bunch of 3D stuff. I don't know a lot about 3D, so hopefully we have tutorials on how to set that up. 
uh, but I probably won't be the one speaking because I don't know how to do it. There's ChatGPT stuff. This is for a different video to turn on different types of open AI things, which is a different tutorial. Here's a bunch of technical calibration stuff. If you want to calibrate your pet exactly how you want, there's hotkeys you can set up to skip redeems and toggle TTS. There's also audio. So when you click on the audio tab, you're probably gonna have select audio source, and this is gonna be your default sound source. So it's probably gonna be your system sound or something like that. You can set up virtual audio cables like me, uh, and I, I have like complete control in OBS over if I want to, let's say like adjust her, her volume or, or whatever. You can do that through here too. I just have a little more complicated setup. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the program itself. Uh, there's a lot of things you can go really deep into and make a lot of cool stuff. If you have any trouble, make sure to join the Discord and we can help you through any of the support channels there. Thanks for watching.